What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna check out a brand new extension from John Brock that allows you to quickly create construction, phasing, and scheduling directly inside of your SketchUp model. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so Phases 4D is John Brock's brand new add-on for SketchUp that allows you to quickly add phasing to your SketchUp models. Um, you can give it a try um, at the Estimator for SketchUp page. So this is either you can get the seven day free trial for free or you can also purchase for $50. I will note that this is intended to be kind of a tool for people doing construction so the fact that it has a cost associated with it makes a lot of sense to me. Um, so basically what it does is it'll pop up this little toolbar when you download it and install it and you've got two options right you've got the first option here which is going to allow you to drag along your timeline and notice how nothing is happening right now inside my timeline because I haven't added any phases yet. The other thing that we can use is we can use this tool right here in order to add and manage our phases. So when I click on that, what that's gonna do is that's gonna pop up a window that looks something like this. And this is where you can manage your phases inside of phases 4D. And so what we wanna do is we wanna start creating phases inside of our model. So um, this is a model that I've already specifically set up so I can create a construction animation. One thing to note about this is you are going to have to have your geometry set up in groups based on those phases. That's no different than if you were to do the construction animation with the section planes, right? Which I've set up in the past, um, but that can be really time consuming in order to do um, using SketchUp scenes. The cool thing about this particular phasing tool is you can add your phases and it's not gonna add a whole bunch of tags. So you're not gonna have to deal with that. This is specifically going to manage the visibilities in a different way. So let's say for example that we wanted to start and we wanted to add our foundation, which in this case, it's just a shed. So it's like barely a foundation, but we're gonna count it. So what you do is you add your foundation and then you can click on the option to assign an object to it. So in this case, I'm gonna click on this and now I have one object um, assigned to my first phase, which is my foundation. Notice how you can come over here and set how long your foundation construction is going to be by clicking the up and downs right here. You can also adjust the dates by clicking in here um, on these objects. But now let's say we wanted to add our next object or set of objects. So what I wanna do is I wanna add another phase and we're gonna call this one floor framing. And so now I'm gonna take these two objects and I'm going to assign them to the floor framing object. So notice how now it shows me that I added these two objects right here. Well, now if I pop up this window, notice what's going to happen is when I'm on day one, right? That flooring is going to be hidden right here and I'm gonna click off of it. So that flooring is going to be hidden until I drag this to day two. And so you can see how this is going to start showing me the different phases that are in here. So let's add a bunch more of these real quick and then we'll take a look at what that looks like. And so if I click and drag through this, this is gonna show me where my construction is going to be at any time in my construction process. Now, one thing that's cool about this that you might not have even noticed is notice how your wall framing actually takes a couple extra days. Well, the reason your wall framing takes a couple extra days is because this tool actually comes in here. And if you click on the little uh, four squares right here and go into your settings, this tool is actually going to exclude the days that you set. So if you don't work on Saturday and Sunday, this isn't going to show this until after that Saturday and Sunday. You can also add holidays in here where it won't do work. But if you look at this list, right? right here, notice how your floor framing or your foundation goes 112, your floor framing goes 113, but then your wall framing doesn't start until 116, which is a Monday. So this automatically excluded that Saturday and Sunday right here. Now, the other thing that's cool about this is you can also set predecessors. So what that means is that means that say like, like right now, right? If I add a bunch of different phases, notice how it's not going to change everything that happens after 
the phasing, right? So my framing is now set to five days, but that doesn't mean my roof framing actually adjusted. So now we've got this weird overlap in here where we could have wall framing, but our roof framing um, can start before the wall framing is done, which is actually not possible. So what we can do in here is we can click this drop down, and this is going to allow us to set other things as predecessors. And so when I set this as a predecessor, notice what this is going to do is this is going to come in here and it won't start the roof framing until the wall framing is done. So not only can you use this to set this kind of like linear construction, right here, you can also use it to set your predecessors. Now, a lot of the time you probably do wanna make sure that things like your wall framing are done. So all of these need the wall framing to be done before we can add this in here. And so you can take two phases and have them start at the same time. So you could set the predecessor for roof framing and doors and windows both to be this wall framing option right here. But then you can set this last one so that your doors and windows are the predecessor. And then notice how those two items are going to get done at the same time. And then your skin gets added at the end after your doors and windows are done. So this is getting a lot closer to being like a real schedule scheduling tool um, for SketchUp. And so you can also click and drag these items in the list if you want to reorder them. Um, so if you did want to reorder these for some reason, you can do that and you can make those changes really easily. But the cool thing about this is I didn't have to set up a single tag. All I had to do was make sure that my geometry was set how I wanted it to be. Plus I can look at actual phases of the construction just using a slider. So inside of your assign objects, not only can you, can you add or remove objects from a phase, you can also select all of the objects that are on a phase just by clicking in this little button right here. So if you do wanna see what's been added to a phase, you can do that by clicking on this little button. One feature I would like to see added is the ability to export a construction or at least a phasing animation. That may be something that's in the works for the future. But leave a comment below, let me know what you think. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.